Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully it's been a great Wednesday evening for all of you across the desert southwest as we continue dealing with some of those storm chances here that will likely last for at least the next couple of days. We're taking a look here at our radar. You can see kind of where that activity is at the moment. You can see that well, we're dealing with some heavier cloud cover right now. That's what all that green area is indicating. Definitely feeling a little humid out there as well. Let's take a look now at our future track to show you where that activity could be going and that Heavier cloud cover could still be continuing here over about the next day or so. Also a decent chance of some isolated storms going into tomorrow for Yuma County, Imperial County as well a little later in the evening, but still some moisture again throughout the desert southwest to help kick off the weekend. Taking a look now at our rain tracker to show you what those chances are going to look like over the next couple of days. And well, you can see here again tomorrow we're still looking at a 40% chance, 30% chance on Friday. So again, rain still very much a factor here over the next couple of days. Small chance on Saturday as well, although it is more likely that we'll see most of that activity die off. And then by Sunday, things should be completely cleared out. Let's go ahead and take a look at our current wind speeds throughout the area. Things getting a little breezy here in the desert southwest. Definitely a little bit more gusty than what we were dealing with earlier. 13 miles per hour over in El Centro. Meanwhile, just 5 miles per hour over in Yuma. And as we take a look at our future wind speeds, you can see that things are expected to remain calm here throughout the rest of the night tonight and as we go into tomorrow. A look now at our air quality index sponsored by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. And as you can see here, good conditions across most of the valley right now, although Calexico currently sitting at moderate as they have for most of the day. Taking a look now at our current temperatures here in the area. A little chilly depending on where you're at. Coldest temperature we've got right now over in the valley, 53 degrees over in Calipatria. Meanwhile, in El Centro, currently 57 degrees. And as we take a look at where things stand over in Yuma County, actually a decent difference. You can see one area actually in the 70s. That would be Quartzsite sitting at 70 degrees. Even Dateland actually at 67. So the further east you go, the warmer things are getting. Taking a quick look at our RV World Yuma Sky Cam showing off 4th Avenue on this very cloudy night, cloudy day as a matter of fact. And again, those conditions likely to continue as we go throughout the rest of the night. You can see storm chances will still be a factor here over the next few hours as we remain in that higher 60s range temperature wise. Let's go ahead and take a look at our seven day forecast. We'll begin with the Yuma area again. Storm chance is still a factor here over the next two to three days as we remain in this higher 70s, lower 80s temperature range. And then over the weekend as well, we could be seeing some winds make their way to the desert southwest. Pretty strong winds, as a matter of fact. On Monday, we could be seeing speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. So definitely something to take into account there, especially if you plan on doing any traveling for the holiday week. And as we take a look at our seven day forecast for the Imperial Valley, you can see we're tracking plenty more of the same. 